Okay, so good morning everyone. Okay, andito tayo ngayon sa part 3 ng ating electricity. This is a continuation video ng ating electricity. Part 1, tinakal natin yung um, foundation sa electricity and kinds of electricity. And sa part 2 natin is tinalaki naman natin yung sources of electricity. Where in sources of electricity is andun tayo sa two ways on how we can harness electricity. Okay, the first way is the mechanical way. The second way is through me chemical way. A chemical, tandaan nyo lang, battery. And mechanical, dalawa yung source. The primary and secondary source. Pag primary, GSWH. And pag secondary is CNNB. Sa mga hindi pa nakapanood, ng ating part 1 and part 2 is pwede nyong uh, i-browse yung ating mga previous videos para updated din kayo sa ating videos. And don't forget to like Sempre comment na rin kayo kung may mga questions kayo and content na gusto natin pag-usapan. Subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell para updated din naman tayo sa ating bagong videos. Today, we're going to discuss these uh, areas. Okay? Sa ating part 3 na topic natin ngayong araw is pag-usapan natin yung types ng electric current. Okay? And at the same time is yung electrical circuit and yung parts ng simple electrical circuit at ano-ano yung mga types ng electric circuit. Marami lumalabas dyan kasi mag-umpisa na tayo dito sa mga electric circuit wherein pwede natin pag-usapan or sa mga sa susunod natin videos is pag-usapan natin yung mga Ohm's Law, how we can apply Ohm's Law on electric circuit. But before punta natin yung core ng electricity is pag-usapan muna natin itong mga uh, essentials na ito. Yung types, yung electrical circuit, yung parts ng electrical circuit and at the same time yung types ng electrical circuit. There are two types of electric current. Okay, tatandaan nyo lagi yan. Dalawa lang yung types ng electric current. The direct current at saka yung alternating current. At una natin yung alternating current. Pag sinabi natin alternating current, ibig sabihin alternate. Ibig sabihin, bumababa, tumataas, bumababa, tumataas. Kaya siya alternating current. Okay? Alternate current. Which, these are electric current that move forward then backward, then forward, then backward, and over, and over again. Taas, baba, taas, baba. So, ibig sabihin kaya siya nag-alternate. At ang dito is simple change polarity. From positive, from negative, pupunta sa positive, from positive, pupunta negative, and so on, and so forth. Kumbaga, yung, forth, yung back and forth motions niya, ay nangyayari between 50 to 60 times per second. So, ibig sabihin, makaka 50 to 60 tayong ganun sa isang segundo lamang. Okay? So, yung tawag doon is tinatawag nating frequency wherein ang isang cycle ay equal to 1 hertz. At ang house current natin lagi is 60 hertz. Lumalabas din yan sa ibang questions. What, what is the house current? Uh, what is the hertz of a house current? It is 60 hertz. Okay? Pag sinabi naman natin direct current, guys, direct current simply does not change polarity. So, ibig sabihin, nakastock lang sila dun sa taas. Kung ito, positive, yan. Okay? Kung baga, is square lang. Pag ganun. Okay? Yan. Pag ganyan lang siya. Okay? Yan yung tinatawag natin. Kung andito lahat ng positive sa taas, andito lahat ng negative. Nandito lahat sa baba. At pag sinabi natin na direct current, guys, pag sinabi natin direct current is di DC is nangyayari lang siya sa battery. Okay. Ayan. Bumalik na naman. Okay. So, how can produce alternating current? Okay. Again, alternating current, back and forth motion. From positive, from negative to positive and so on and so forth. 50 to 60 times per second. At tawag sa kanya is frequency where frequency is equal to 1 cycle over 1 hertz. House current is 60 Hertz. Okay, how we can produce alternating current? We can produce alternating by two means. Okay, the first one is the magnetic. Okay, pag sinabi natin yung magnetic, ito yung mga ginawa natin tayo ay mga third year or fourth year high school. Okay, we're in, meron dalawang uh, pole dito, and andito yung wire, may dalawang magnet dito, tapos may connected or yung coil na nakorotate dun sa around the magnet. Magkakaroon ng... Um, drive, ito, si positive at saka negative kasi, uh, di ba, meron tayong law about magnetism. Like poles repel and unlike poles attract. Di ba? So, nagkakaroon sila ng 
pag-ikot wherein pag nag-ikot yung coil around the magnet makapag-produce siya ng tinatawag nating alternating current. And at the same time, kung wala tayong magnetism or magnetic is pwede tayong gumamit ng piezo effect. Bakit? Ano yung piezo effect? It is the use of crystal or quartz crystal like formalin and rochelle salts placed between a pair of metal plates and subjected to pressure. Tatandaan nyo lagi diyan, piezo starts with letter P. Okay? Piezo, pressure. Ibig sabihin, subjected siya sa pressure. Again, how we can produce alternating current, magnetism or magnetic, which is the coil rotate around the magnet. The coil rotate around the magnet. And piezo effect, which piezo starts with letter P, pressure. Okay? So, how we can produce naman, direct current, we can produce direct current with the use of battery. Yun lang ang tatanda nyo lagi. Pag direct current, simple lang siya. Battery, battery. Does not change polarity. Okay? It does not change polarity. Okay, so punta naman tayo dito. Ano kaya yan? Okay, so tama. It is a simple electrical circuit. Okay, pag sinabi natin electrical circuit, guys, it is the complete flow of current through a conductor or path. At saan man gagaling yung, so yung electricity? From the source. Okay, ang source natin dito is battery. Down to the load Okay? And back to the source again. So, ibig sabihin, there is a complete flow of electricity coming from the source to the load. Okay? And back to the source again. So, kompleto TID dyan. Meron tayong source. Meron tayong path. Meron tayong um, load. And, syempre, complete dapat kasi nandito yung switch natin. So, ibig sabihin, there is a complete flow of electric current from the source down to the load and back to the source again. So, there is a continuous flow of current. So, ano yung mga parts ng isang simpleng electrical circuit? There are two, uh, there are four parts. Kaya nga, kanina, sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, yung four parts ng electrical circuit natin is andyan yung source, andyan yung load, andyan yung control or switch at andyan yung ating Pat. Okay, pag sinabi natin source, it does provide electrical power. So, ibig sabihin siya yung magsusupply ng lahat ng electricity. Lahat ng electrical power dun sa isang circuit. Ano yung example niya? Pwedeng cell, pwedeng battery, pwedeng generators. Ano naman yung load? Yung load siya po yung electrical device, yung appliances. Pwedeng electric fan, pwedeng TV, pwedeng, uh, pwedeng um, ilaw, pwedeng rice cooker, at lahat ng device or appliances na nagkukonsume ng electrical power. Source provides electricity, load consumes electricity. Okay? Ano yung control? Simply, it does on and off the circuit. Okay? Kung baga siya yung magpapatay at buhay ng circuit. At yung part naman, yung part po, siya yung magpo-provide ng passage. So, ibig sabihin, doon dadaan lahat ng electric current mula sa source papunta sa load. Mahalaga din na malaman natin kung ano-ano yung mga um, signs and symbols. Okay. So, ang symbol ng ating source ay ito. Okay? Ito. At ang symbol naman ng ating load ay ito. Which, the controls, ito. Okay, guys. Ito yung control para siyang switch. And the path is simply yung ano lang. Um, guhit lang. Okay? The source again, it does provide electricity, okay, or electrical power. The load, the load consumes electricity. The control, it is a device that turns on and off the circuit. The paths provide the passageway of the current from the source down to the load. Yan yung mga parts ng sang simpleng electrical circuit, okay? So ano ano naman yung mga types ng mga electric circuit. So, ang unang type ng electrical circuit is the first is yung pinaka simple, the series circuit. Pag sinabi natin series circuit, this is a connection of all load which is connected in a straight line. Kumbaga, if one bulb is defective, the other loads will be affected. Kumbaga, <coughs> Hindi ko kayang mabuhay ng wala ka. Dependent, independent, dependent po siya. Ibig sabihin, pag yung isang load na matay, pati siya, mamatay na rin. Kaya nga sinasabi, hindi ko kayang mabuhay ng wala ka. So, ibig sabihin, series circuit ka. Kasi, hindi ko kayang mabuhay ng wala ka. Pag nawala ka, 
patay na rin ako. Pag nawala ka, pag namatay ka, patay na rin ako. Ibig sabihin, nakadepende ako sa inyong series circuit. This is a type of connection wherein if one load is defective, the other loads will be affected. Okay? Or will not function. Kung mamatay ka, patay na rin ako. Kasi hindi ko kaya mabuhay ng wala ka. Kumbaga, they are dependent on each other. Kaya siya connected like a straight line. Or like a chain, simply. Okay, next is a parallel circuit. Pag parallel circuit, ibig sabihin meron siyang multiple path. It allows multiple path for current flow. Ibig sabihin, meron dito, ang dami niyang kabit-kabit. Kaya, kapag ang isang load ay defective, yung other loads will function. So, ibig sabihin, kaya ko mabuhay ng wala ka? Hindi. Kaya kong mabuhay ng wala ka. So, ibig sabihin, dependent, independent, independent. So, ibig sabihin, siya mga independent. Kaya kong mabuhay ng wala ka. Si circuit, hindi ko kaya mabuhay ng wala ka. Pag nawala ka, patay na rin ako. Para circuit, kaya kong mabuhay ng wala ka. Kasi, if one load is defective or open, other loads will still function. And the last is yung tinatawag natin series parallel circuit. Wherein, pag sinabi natin series parallel circuit, this is a type of electrical circuit wherein the arrangement of these circuit elements are groups of two or more parallel connections or parallel circuits connected in series. Or, pwede yung baliktara naman. Okay? Kung baga, there are lots of connections na nakaparallel na itinap sa series. Yung tinatawag natin series parallel connections. Again, this is a type of electrical circuit. Tatlo lang yan. The series circuit, the parallel circuit, and the series parallel circuit. Okay? So, pag series, hindi ko kaya mabuhay ng wala ka. Kasi pag nawala ka, patay na rin ako. If one load is defective, the other loads will not function. Parallel circuit, if one load is defective, the other loads will still function. Bakit? It allows multiple path for current flow. Kaya kong mabuhay ng wala ka. Series, circuit, uh, series parallel, this is a connection wherein there are groups of parallel circuits connected in, connected in series circuit. So, ayan yung ating part 3 ng ating uh, electricity video. Up next, pag-aralan natin yung Ohm's Law in household electrical wiring wherein apply natin ang Ohm's Law sa isang series circuit whether in sa Ohm's Law application sa parallel circuit at ang mga Ohm's Law questions, Ohm's Law application questions. So, good luck and God bless. Again, recap tayo ng konti. On this part 3 videos, pinag-aralan natin yung types of electric current and electrical circuit parts of a simple electrical circuit and types of electrical circuit. Ano-ano yung mga types of electrical current? The AC and the DC. AC, alternating current. DC, direct current. AC does uh, change polarity. DC does not change polarity. Okay? So, <clears throat> next is yung ating electrical circuit. This is continuous flow of uh, electricity coming from the source down to the load and coming back to the source again. We have four parts of electrical circuit or four simple parts of electrical circuit. The load, the, sor the source, the load, the path, and the control or switch. Pag sinabi natin source, it does provide electrical current for the, so uh, for the load to be, for the load to function. Next, the load, it does consumes electrical energy because pwede siyang simply appliances siya or devices which consumes electricity. Control or switch, it's simply on and off the circuit. And pag tinawag naman natin path, it provides passage way. Okay, we have four, uh, three types of electrical circuit. The series, the parallel, and series parallel. Series circuit po is, it is a connection of um, load wherein it is connected like a straight line or a chain wherein it allows continuous flow of electricity which if one bulb is defective the other loads will not function it is a dependent type of electrical circuit next parallel if one loads are defective the other loads will still function because it allows multiple path of electric current and pag sinabi natin series parallel this is a combination 
of series and parallel connection. So guys, don't forget na mag-comment kayo ng mga content na pwede natin pag-usapan. If you have questions to ask, is, uh, I'm willing to answer them. them? <laughs> I am willing to answer them. And don't forget to subscribe, like the videos, comment, and hit the notification bell para ma-inform kayo if may bago tayong videos. Good luck and God bless. Thank you for watching.